Callie, and on this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make an authentic Italian eggplant parm. Now, if you've ever wondered, how do I make one that's real authentic, just like they do in Italy, then this show is a show for you. I'm going to show you how easy, simple, and delicious it is to achieve the most perfect eggplant parm you'll ever have. Now, let's start with the ingredients. So you're going to need some really good meat sauce. If preferably homemade, and if you don't know how to make it, just go onto my website at www.learnthekitchen.com, click on my lasagna video, and it's the same meat sauce. I always have it on hand in the freezer because it is so good and it goes good with everything. So you're gonna need some of that, all-purpose flour, eggs, eggplant, of course, some fresh mozzarella, some parmigiano and giano, and you're going to need some vegetable oil, and you're going to need a little bit of salt and pepper. Now you're probably wondering, where are the breadcrumbs? How are you going to make eggplant parm without the breadcrumbs? Well, I don't know who came up with the whole eggplant parm in the breadcrumb mixture, but that's not Italian, not Southern Italian anyway. The way we do it is this way. It's much more, e much more easy, and it's very authentic. And to us, when you bread the eggplant in breadcrumbs, it's a fritter. It's something that you eat cold or like room temperature without sauce on or anything. It's something completely different. So this is the real deal. This is how you make real authentic eggplant parm the way we do it in Naples, Italy. So let me give you, um, let me run you down a few things. Number one, you need to get a nice big pan with some um, vegetable oil in it, about a quarter inch um, of vegetable oil in it. I'm using vegetable oil because it has a very high smoking point and we're going to fry these eggplant and if you were to use olive oil it would burn and it would be just a mess and you have to constantly change the oil. So we're going to do that. You have some flour here. Now we're going to start cracking some eggs. Now one thing that's very important guys is that you have to, have to, have to use meat sauce when you make your eggplant parm. You could use bolognese but that's too thick. It's not saucy enough. Like this is saucy. That's what you need. You cannot use you know, marinara sauce, it doesn't have enough flavor. So go ahead and make yourself a big batch of meat sauce, store it in the freezer, and you can use it on anything. I'm just gonna crack these eggs. Now I'm gonna prep my eggplant. Now this is a really, really big eggplant, and I would prefer using those little Italian eggplants, but sometimes my grocery store carries them, sometimes they don't. But whenever buying an eggplant, make sure it smells fresh and make sure that it's not dented anywhere. It's nice and smooth and skin. It's like a dark, dark purple, which is exactly what you want, but no blemishes, no soft spots, no brown spots. That's what you want. So now we're going to prep it. I'm just going to cut a little bit of, well, I could use a serrated knife much better. I'm just going to cut a little bit off the bottom so it's, I stabilize the eggplant for when I cut. Otherwise it would roll everywhere. That's why it's stable. And now we're going to cut it lengthwise. Get rid of that. And you want to cut it nice and thin. You don't want to cut it thick, otherwise it won't cook. Just like that. So I have all my eggplant thinly cut. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my flour in my eggs. too much because we're going to season the eggplant when they come out of the oil and you have to resist eating them as they come out because they're so good honestly that's my favorite way to eat these eggplants just when they come out a little sprinkling of salt on them oh scramble the eggs really really good you don't have to be i'm not going to come to your house and check out good you scrambled your eggs but you want to make sure that they're all nicely scrambled like that mix your flour just with your hands. And now, the only prep work we're gonna do at the counter is that we're going to dust each piece of eggplant in the flour, shaking off any excess, because we want the egg to stick, obviously. Last one. Do you like the mess I made? I guess it's not a party until uh, somebody makes a mess, and that somebody is uh, usually me. But hey, I clean it up, so I can make all the mess I want. All right, guys, let's take the eggs and the egg point and let's go to the stove and start frying them up. Okay, guys, my oil's really nice and hot, so now I'm going to take my eggplant, dip it into the egg, right, and right into the oil. That is goodness right there. You know, do this in batches. I have this over medium-high heat. Medium heat will do. 
You don't want them to cook too quickly because you do want to cook them all the way through. Okay, so in batches, cook these up for about a minute on each side so they're nice and golden brown. And make sure you have a large plate and paper towels handy because you're going to put a layer of paper towels in between each layer of the eggplant. So one layer at the bottom, three pieces of eggplant, piece of paper towel. So on and so forth until you have all the eggplant done. And it'll take about literally seven or eight minutes to do them all. It doesn't take long at all. It takes just a couple minutes and then we're gonna assemble it, bake it, and eat it. Last one's coming out, guys. Turning this off. You gonna make sure that you season each one as they come out, okay? And then layer them between pieces of paper towels, like so. Now let's go to the counter and finish just assembling this. Here you go, guys. Now before I go any further, I want to let you guys know that you have to preheat your oven to 350 degrees before you start anything else. I should have let you know that before, but I kind of forgot. Okay, so let's assemble this. What we're going to do is take a ladle full of the meat sauce, and like I said, it has to be meat sauce. Now, this eggplant parm, the way we do it, it's not gloppy and heavy. It's just a thin layer of sauce in between in between each layer of the eggplant, like so. However many you can fit. I'm just gonna do three like that. Then you just take a little bit of the sauce and smear it in each one. Not much, because you don't want it to, when you cook it in the oven, you don't want it to bubble up and, and be sort of liquidy, it'll make your eggplant soggy, and you don't want that. Let that, it's perfect. Perfect, you can see that? Just a spoonful in each one. Then you're gonna take some of your fresh mozzarella and just tear small pieces all over the top. Because remember, mozzarella is something I've added to this recipe. It's not something that is usually found in you know in Naples when you go get airplane parm. You usually don't find mozzarella there, but I like the ooziness of it. So just a little bit, but you do find a heck of a lot of parmigiano reggiano. Try and buy the good stuff. Try and buy the one, you know, the black with the one that actually says Parmigiano on it. That's when you know it's the best. Okay. Like that. Next layer. This is all you're going to do. You're going to do layer by layer until you're pretty much all the way to the top. See, now I can do three big ones here. Until you're all the way to the top. My last layer, right over the top, and I'm gonna put a little extra cheese. Now, just so you know, this is not gonna be the kind of eggplant parm that you cut into it. It's just, you're gonna take off each and every single piece. So everybody has a little bit of the cheese, everything. And like I said, this is the way we do it in Naples, but if you're used to doing it a different way, then by all means do it that way. But this is the authentic way of making eggplant parm the way we do. And once you go this way, you'll never go back, I promise. Now this is going to go into your preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. When everything's kind of melt, you know, get incorporated, and it's gonna be so good. Stick around. Here you go, guys, look at that. That's the way eggplant parm should be. Look at that, every single layer of eggplant it's got cheese oh so good it smells amazing i don't want to take this apart yet because i have friends coming over for dinner and i want it to look super beautiful but i'm just going to put a little bit of basil on top i can really really smell the meat sauce it's unbelievable it's cheesy it's ooey it's gooey if you want to feel like you're at a table with my family on sunday night dinner make this recipe because it is the authentic way to make eggplant parm the way it's done in Naples, Italy, and I guarantee it, once you do it this way, you'll never do it another way. So I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website, www.learnthekitchen.com. See you next time. Bye-bye.